we've got a ways to go, but that's where we've come from. We're a bit over halfway now. But uh, yeah, we're on our way. It's actually quite nice. A little lumpy, but this is nothing compared to how it can get. I know that for a fact. <laughs> but yeah, we're getting there. And it's going to be pretty spectacular because I can't believe how velvety blue this water looks. It's looking amazing already. But I've just stopped to put a, a long sleeve shirt on because I can feel myself getting roasted on the arms and things. So if we start smart at the beginning, we don't get too burnt. <laughs> but if you start dumb and then you try and get smart towards the end, it's too late. Because I came back so roasted from this trip. But no, this is, this is cool, this is really cool. You wait till you see it. come off getting a bit beaten up all of a sudden <laughs> all right but wow here let's just turn that off for a sec hopefully we drift the right way but look at the coral down there wow oh it's so good i don't know what it is about this section here but it's it's really clear and it's really beautiful the coral looks amazing it's definitely whipped up a little bit more when i first got here it was a little smoother but um I can see that there's a tender that's on um, just whipped over and I can see some people walking around on the sand case. So I might wait before I go on there. The sun's getting a little lower as well. So I guess I better start fishing or doing something to try and catch some dinner. Let's uh, just jump up and we'll have a little bit of a cast over while we drift. And then maybe I'll set a better drift to the next one. I wonder if we can pick up a something or other i'm not sure what i'm after but oh yeah it's quite a lot of drag we'll probably want a lot just in case they try and take me to the reef will it be fishy though that's the big question huh <laughs> i hope so at least for tonight otherwise i can jump in and spear something but i've sort of left my run a little late i think can't really see right now but yeah it there's I remember floating over here on the little red boat and I was only in a couple of feet of water but there was these the, you know like we see giant clams but these were real giant clams like they like some of them are like a meter wide I'll hopefully try and find some tomorrow and we can check it all out hopefully it calms down a little bit <laughs> haven't seen a fish actually yet <laughs> beautiful coral but no fish activity going on. It's definitely, it's about the top of the tide now, so hopefully that's something that could spark them up. It is neat tides though, so they're not the super big tides. Look at this bommy down below me here. Jeez, can't wait to spear fish on that tomorrow. You think there'd be a cold trout just hanging on the edge though, ready to wallop this bait? Oh, look, something came up. I think that was a stripey. You better watch out mate, I'd definitely take a stripey right now. You only have to be 25 as well. Just a little stripey. It would be ideal, in fact. Okay, we got some. Don't know if the camera's even on, but I don't have time to check. What do we got here? Oh, is that a little uh is that a little red throat, is it? Might be. I've got a feeling he's gonna be too small. Is the camera even on? No, oh, it is on now. I think I missed the hit, but uh what have we got here? Jeez, oh, looking around like crazy. <laughs> well, he's a beautiful looking fish, but unfortunately he won't make size. I think it's 38, is they, they've got to be. Cool, if he opens his throat, you can see it's already in there, but see you later, buddy. <laughs> Off he goes. Well, if we could get one a bit bigger than that, we'd be happy. But it's nice to get on the board, I guess. I guess we'll keep casting. Well, this lure doesn't seem to be working. <laughs> so, I don't know, what can we do? We could try and put like a prawn or something on. It might have a bit of a, a better strike rate. There's no reason why that lure shouldn't get hit though, so. I don't know. 
what can we put on? This is a weedless prawn, but it could be good just casting it right down, just letting it sink right down. Hopefully something hits that. It's good looking, that's for sure. So nice to be here again. <laughs> Don't know if I'll bother getting on right now. I might just sort of set up the tent and then anchor just a little bit further back. Start with that. You can always let more out or readjust. There we go. Just set it just a little. Guess we better get the tent up, huh? It's just a bit of a low fi start to the whole thing. A little bit breezy. Once this goes up, it won't bother me though. <laughs> Two second boat tents. I didn't. It doesn't look like I did. Bummer. It's bed for the night. Should be fine. But yeah, no. Looks like it's uh, going to be a semi-windy, windy evening. Actually, the wind's picking up slowly. It's not too bad yet, but you can see there's a couple of boats that are also anchoring up. I spoke to a guy in that boat there, and he was saying that they went spearing around the whole island today, and they didn't see a fish, like a, a table fish. One, not one. So uh, yeah, that's not very encouraging, but um, yeah, we'll give it a crack tomorrow morning. And uh, hey, look, we can always go somewhere else. So um, we'll wake up, we'll hit it hard and try and find something to eat. I don't even think I'll bother tonight and I think I'll just get some rest, yeah. island <laughs> please yeah you go back out there right Ah, 
perfect timing for sunrise. Oh, that's pretty amazing, isn't it? <laughs> that's right, all our friends are sand crabs. So you can see all of these little crab tracks. Look how many there are. So at night, if you're camping on here, like thousands of crabs come out at night and they run all around the beach there and they're quite big they're not those little sand crabs they're like mega sized sand crabs so they come out and they're like they're in the tent they're all over the tent they're trying to get into your stuff they're picking through everything it's it's pretty wild like and it, it's hilarious they're cool but they're kind of really like they're like if you don't have it zipped up they'll, they'll hop in they'll go for your stuff it's cool all over you it's really bizarre and, and all night you're hearing them like clambering up over the tent and mucking around well, it's very cool to be back on the island, that's for sure. This is a, uh, this is like a high tide, but this has like left quite a lot of the sand K out. You can see where it came up to last night. So a fair bit smaller. The island gets a fair bit smaller than that as well. So when I was here, it was in bigger tides. So yeah, I think the island got maybe, at its worst, it probably got a baby half that size again. So, so you just have this top patch here really which was pretty cool but pretty intense because once it gets rough you realize how small that patch of sand is but yeah so cool to be back that picture actually i sent or put up on instagram and that the first part of this whole series st like started for me yesterday it went live on sunday and that tent was just pitched here And the island's changed a little bit. There was like a little bit of a log here and there was definitely a big tree stump here. And it was just as well that that tree stump was here because I could tie the boat off to it. You see that picture, that was like the night after a huge storm, it rolled in. And it was like, I'm talking 70 to 80 Ks of wind just blowing non-stop for like maybe four hours. The rain was so heavy. And I'd pick myself up a cheap like $12 Kmart or Big W I believe it was maybe a uh, tent and i'd set it up here the first night was fine second night this huge storm rolls in it was out of control <laughs> yeah she's a little wet i was literally had to sit up with my back pressed up against the tent for about three or four hours just holding the tent down luckily i had my cooler so i could pack a lot of stuff like that I wanted to say dry inside so I pretty much just stripped down packed everything up and put it into the cooler and I just sat there in this tent while it literally bent sidewards for about three or four hours it was out of control I got out here and luckily my boat was still tied up it didn't blow away but because my boat was only like it's only like 25 kilos or something it had lifted up and uh, was up like there was a bit more of a drop off here on the sand cay and the boat was tilted upwards like standing upright like because it was so windy that it was enough to lift the whole boat upwards and sort of prop it upwards like that it was pretty touch and go so it was a pretty crazy night so someone wrote on that instagram post yesterday oh geez that looks lovely it looks so nice like there's nothing to worry about in that picture and i was like man if only you knew what happened the night before and that's how it can be deceiving like look at this it's heaven on earth today it opens your eyes up to what it's really like out here and if you get it wrong it actually can get quite serious because there's another story I'll tell maybe tomorrow about the real scary part that happened uh, which actually had me worried uh, that I wasn't actually going to get back in but so nice to be out here and still pretty hungry I guess so we got to start fishing I'm thinking maybe I'll let the tide drop a little and then I'll spear the outer edge right around the whole outer edge of this island pretty much there's an outer rim and it's not too big but it's um but there's a nice big drop off off the whole edge of it right around from pretty much where that boat is there the, the tourist boat all the way around to just where i was fishing yesterday when we got here well let's go catch some breakfast huh Out over just a couple of these little bits of the reef. 
Let's see what we can find. The roof sort of starts right here. And it's pretty rough. Oh. <laughs> Get it fall in. Too busy looking at corals. Wow, look at this. <laughs> it gets better as well. Once the sun comes up just that right level, it's a pretty amazing reef and I'm definitely keen to get in the water because I didn't do a whole lot of um like look at that far out I didn't do a lot of uh snorkeling and stuff because it was the top water film invitational it was always all about top water fishing so I didn't really do much in water stuff but when I did jump in because I couldn't resist geez it was something special crystal clear water amazing coral and hopefully some edible fish as well because uh, judging from what the guy said yesterday in that boat there there wasn't a whole lot to spear but hopefully we can prove that wrong there's some fish look at that big school or something they don't look like fusies but maybe they are some fish heading around that way this is just at the start of the big drop off at the tip. Okay. Looks a little more promising, doesn't it? Definitely looks like there's a few more fish. Let's see how shallow it gets here. Oh, look at that there. And then look, there's the drop off just there. Let's go straight to blue. see some fuses or something over there well we've got the prawn on so we might as well just keep it on for a second and see if we can get something down the bottom coral trout like prawns as long as we can sink it down hopefully we get a good hit but what we'll do is we'll turn in this way just a little get just right on the edge of the drop off and we'll just let it sink <laughs> Uh, what's, uh, what's going on here? Really? Ah, get out of here. <laughs> that didn't take long, did it? That's alright. We wanted it down anyway. got something something took it but he's very small <laughs> hey mate okay well at least we know there's something down the bottom <laughs> look at that another emperor unfortunately not the target beautiful looking fish Yoop. he's a little bit roughed up look yeah he's swimming off he rally around in the sec but look at all the fusies under me now yeah Okay, well surely something comes and eats those guys. <laughs> well, whatever this is, it's small, small. Oh, look at him. Jeez, he's lit up though. Is that like a peacock trout? Jeez, he's a good looking. <laughs> but he is very small. <laughs> What a sweet little fish. Wow. Just use the things, Rod. Use the pliers. Oh, that's exactly why. Use the pliers, Rod. He is sweet. He's going to grow into a monster. A killer of the reef. All right, mate. A bit bigger, and we'd consider different things with someone like you. With some of your bigger brothers. Well, the prawn lure is definitely working, but yeah, nothing of size. 
Set up again. Look at the drop off. It's so good. No big fish though. Where's the big trouty? We need breakfast. All right. If I don't get anything this cast, we'll let it sink all the way down. We're still just working the edge along back in. But you know it's pretty tough when you can't get many bites on the old prawn lure. Well, it's not like I'm not getting bites. I'm getting little hits on tiny things, like lots of tiny things. I've had a couple of little knocks and misses. And then the things that I have caught have also been pretty small. So I'm thinking, yeah, well, old mate in the boat over there was saying that he's still a pro boat working here for like the last couple of days. I don't know. Maybe, maybe it is quite fished out of the bigger ones, but maybe that's just, maybe look, sometimes the fish just know that today's not the day and it's, it's the day off. But having said that though, it's not like we're not getting hits from little guys. So there's things hitting, it's, they're just not big enough. So it's an interesting one, I wonder. Look, that's a, oh, that's a shark. There's a little white tip just cruising past. It's the first decent sized fish I've seen. <laughs> and it's not the one we want. I think maybe what I'll do is I'll put the boat on that little boy there. I don't think anyone will mind that. Just for, just for a quick jump in. And then I might just jump in and have a look and see if, if it's as quiet as I really think it is. I won't even take a spig and I'll literally just jump in just with some flippers and some goggles. Might as well take this as well. Just don't drop it.
look at all those squid right under my boat. Oh man, are they still there? Oh, they are, they're right there. Okay, stay low, right? Look, they're right up against the rope. Oh, let's get the squid jig out and see if we can catch morning squid breakfast. So, this came with the pack. I didn't think I'd actually use it, but now that I'm looking at it and I'm soaking wet, let's give it a crack. Get you off quickly. And where are my squid jigs? Uh, I guess we can go you. How good was that dive though? Man, I'm so pumped about that. I'm pumped about the idea that I'm going to just focus on looking at more like detail. Because like I, I love, like I grew up with aquariums and things like that. And I still have a couple of aquariums, or one at the moment. <laughs> but um, I really enjoy just sitting there and watching it all happen. There's, ama there's an amazing amount of activity if you just slow down and watch. I'm not even capturing half of it as well. I put it on the original channel, but I think it sort of focuses on something slightly different. But okay, let's stop talking about that. And let's see if we can get one of these squid. I'm going to go past them. Because they're just there. I don't want to spook them. Oh, I've got him already. Wow, okay. I didn't want to spook them all, but I don't think that's an issue. Look how many there are under the boat. Wow. Oh my god. Look at all these squid. Oh. oh. Wow. Look at that. Oh my god, he's so lit up. Look, they're all wondering what's going on. Oh, I feel a bit cruel, but... <laughs> Wow, well, I'll only need one for breakfast, but look at that. So many squid. Okay, I might. He looks like he's pretty out of ink now. Oh! Oh no, he's, whoa, whoa, he's got heaps more. <laughs> oh my god. Famous last words. Didn't, glad I didn't bring him in the boat then. Right. Okay, we've got him. Definitely seems out of ink now. Jeez, a lot more came out though. What an amazing looking creature they are. I'm so sorry, mate. But, unfortunately, you are going to come home for dinner. Or <laughs> breakfast. So the best way to do it is just to pop them down like that and just boom, boom. Karate chop and that's it. Just give them one more for good luck. Just to make sure the job is done properly. But it's a pretty amazing thing that they go out just like that and he's dead. Oh, I'm so excited about that. I'm sorry, but you'll go to some good use here, mate. Just one. Definitely don't need any more. What I might do though is uh, try and get a little bit of footage of those other guys. We'll pop him down here on the flipper. On the fin, sorry, fin. Don't want to upset the community. <laughs> the spearfishing and freediving community. Remember I caught him flippers once in a video. Didn't go down so great. <laughs> Let's just have one more flick in and see if we can lure some closer to the boat. Oh, look, look how quick, look how quickly they're coming over. Oh, no, I don't actually really want to catch you that much. Look, they're backing up. Oh, oh no, he's gone. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, I'll get you off. I'll get you off. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, and look at the other guys coming. Oh, yes, he got himself off. That's good. Good job. Oh, my God. Look at it. Oh, no, no.
Oh, he almost got it. it bad doesn't he look he keeps re reversing back to get a better angle on it Bird it in quickly. Oh man, they are awesome. Wow, what a find. Just happened to be coming back from a little dive, and this is what I'm treated to. Amazing. Right, you can go up here. Let's have. Uh, Pull it down a bit. I just sort of wiped it down, but I'm gonna just wipe it again, make sure it's nice and cool. Don't want to cook our squiddy. All right, wow. Well, this is a treat, isn't it? Just when you thought it was going to be tough, I was about to say, when I was getting out, I was about to turn around and say, well, there's definitely not a lot of fish around, so it does seem pretty quiet. <laughs> Look, the squid are everywhere still. Look, they're just under the boat, they're everywhere. But um, I was gonna say, look, in, in any case, there was definitely a lot of like parrot and steephead parrot and things like that. Um, and there was a few smaller ones, which would be nice breakfast size. So I was gonna get one of them. I was gonna say, you know what? I'll jump in and just grab one of them. Um, but yeah, there wasn't actually a lot of, I thought I'd see a trout, I thought I'd see, you know, I saw a couple of red bass and things like that, but they're a no take species because high chance of cigatera. So, yeah, it doesn't look overly fishy when it comes to big fish. Super abundant when it comes to smaller fish and things that no one wants, like silver drummer. Um, amazing amount of those clown surgeon fish. They're really cool fish. I used to always want one of them in my tank, and now they're everywhere out here. They're probably the most abundant of everything. But um, yeah, no, I saw some pretty amazing things. And this squid is just an absolute treat at the end there. You can still see his skin still fired up. Look. It's all the nerves, if you touch it, see it's still um, lighting up and changing colour. They're pretty amazing and bizarre creature, aren't they? But, we'll quickly break this guy down, and I think we're just going to do this guy just maybe a little olive oil and chilli, and just fresh like that. Quite a lot of squid here for one person, so if I add extra things, I'm going to struggle to get through it all myself, but I reckon I can do all this myself, no problems. But uh, I don't want to make anything like rings or salads and extra things with it because if I do that then I'm going to have way too much food. Probably keep some for later as well. So we can start with, just to do the simple way, we'll just go head and tail. You can eat the eyes and things like that, but I tend not to. Look, I'm just going to throw those in. <laughs> what, a no what a horrible thing to do. Just start breaking down and throwing these parts back in the water around the other squid. So we can squeeze this bit out. This is actually the beak. If you can unpearl it here, here we go. If we push it back here, you'll see that there's a little beak in there. It's like a parrot or bird's beak. They truly are a very bizarre creature. Keep all these tentacles, they are delicious to eat. Might just trim them down slightly. Cool. Maybe one more. So, got our tentacles, they're all ready to go. It's that simple. You can rub them together and stuff like that, but to be honest, you don't really need to. Now, this centre bit, if I can just rub my finger down the centre, hopefully we can pull most of the guts out in one go. Okay, so pull that out. So that all came out in one piece, which is nice. Um, just when you think he doesn't have much ink left, look at it. That could be full of water, but if we cut that open, I'm not going to be doing pasta or anything out here, So, but if we cut that open, look at that. You can see the ink supply is just spilling out. It's amazing how much was left in there, huh? Oh, wow. 
amazingly potent stuff in it. Now, if we can just get our little finger under here, you can see up oh, there. We go, let's bust it out. This one's particularly hard to pull out, but we got it. Okay, so that is the backbone, just like in the other video, the, the cuttlefish had its big, thick backbone. This is a squid's version, similar in structure, but no big build up of foamy stuff in the center. But yeah, pretty bizarre, huh? If you wash it off, it's pretty transparent. Looks like a piece of plastic, doesn't it? But that is from a squid, so we're allowed to throw that in the water. <laughs> it is not a piece of plastic, everyone. It will break down and it won't hurt anyone that eats it. We'll pull that wing off. So there's one wing, totally edible, totally amazingly delicious. Do the same thing to the other. And if we really wanted to go all out, we worry about getting all that skin off as well. There we go. All right, so if we were making calamari rings, we would start slicing straight down that way. But I think I'm just going to do little pieces. Or should we do rings? Rings might be fun. Look at that. I just threw some of that squid guts in and the squid are coming in to grab it. <laughs> Cannibals. I noticed that none of them are actually grabbing it. Is anyone actually going to grab the food? No, they want live shrimp or something, don't they? Look, they're just letting it sink past them. I wonder if they know. Sorry, fellas. Not too thick, though. Just little rings like this. Uh, it is a cutting board, but you know what? Maybe I'll put this here as well. We're not going to crumb them or anything. We're just going to do chili and oil. These are going to be really delicious, though. A lot of the time, instead of doing it this way, we would um, just open it up and then flatten them out and then score them. Probably should get a better knife out for that, but look at all that squid. You only needed one, that's for sure. Tentacles. They're sticking all over me. And then with these, yeah, what we do, I probably should get my other knife out, but oh yeah. But what we do is you just score like this. And then score the other way. Just a nice cross hatch pattern. Don't press too deep because otherwise it'll just go straight through. Okay, so there's our squid, all freshly prepared. Looking good. So we've got one bird's eye chili, which is the hot one. Oh. And just one regular red pepper. Usually not as hot, but still could be pretty spicy. But we want it spicy. How good's this little cutting board? It's working out great, isn't it? Rather than ruin too many dishes at once, we'll just put it all in here. Just olive oil, pepper, oh no way, is this the cracked one? It is the cracked one, almost mate, you almost got me then, can't believe I haven't replaced that. <laughs> anyway, let's just uh, be careful, but salt and pepper, this is the pepper shaker that spilled all over my food that one time. I thought I replaced that, look it's got a big crack in it and it just pops off, almost got me too. And where's our salt? Does that mean we don't have salt? What the? Jeez. Must have replaced the ones in the car. No salt. That's a bit of a bummer. What we'll do is we'll just add a little soy just for a bit of saltiness. Yep. Can't see it, but it is on. 
Might be a bit windy up here anyway. Maybe I should put it down here. Spread that out so we don't make a mess. Chopsticks out. Just that breeze is going to slow us down anyway, so we'll do it down here. That's better. Oh, yeah. All right. Probably should do it in a couple of little lots, really. Uh, we'll go eat the whole hog. We'll just crank it up. Crank it right up. <laughs> I'm turning that off. That's pretty much ready to go. It's all you need. Just so it just goes from translucent just to white. It's really only on for like less than about a minute, really. Just keep it moving. Like look at that big piece there. Mmm. Still has that crisp pop when you bite into it. Just splits apart. Yum! Oh, oh boy! <laughs> Look at that! You know what? Just for a bit of a uh, savoury, make some space on the side. A little stack of chips, big dollop of sriracha -y mayo, and we have a breakfast fit for a king. That sauce could look a little less squirted out there, but all in all, I think you'd be struggling to find a, uh, a tasty looking meal out here on the water today. Oh, and it's brutal. Look, look at all your buddies. They're all still just hanging out down there. <laughs> look what's happened. Right, we might sit just under this little the fox seat. This is where Fox likes to sit. Do I really need these chopsticks? We'll use them. We'll use them. Say no sirs first. Mmm. There's a good tentacly bit. <laughs> it's never pretty, is it? <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Bit of that, bit of that. Oh, dropping them on the plate. And a bit of that. Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh. We've had to switch to the uh, other camera because... Um, the uh, other camera is overheated. It tends to overheat when it's in the uh, in the little sock here. So it's uh, yeah, it happens sometimes, especially when you're cooking over hot heat, and then you sit there and sit there in the sun, and then keep filming non-stop. Well, this is pretty epic. But um, I guess what I might do is I've kind of had my fill of this area. I think there might be bigger fish out further. And the day is looking like a cracker every day, so I think I'd be crazy not to get out there a bit wider. Very, very cool start to the island trip, actually. Like, squid have just made my day in that dive, man. It really is something special here. The water is crystal clear. There's plenty of life there. No big fish, but maybe we'll find those further out. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one. Brutal. <laughs>